Well, you found him guilty, of course. They did. I did not. But, Miss Marple, surely... You recall our production in aid of the church organ renovation fund, The Lodger's Dilemma. Unforgettable. Well, you remember, Mr. Stringer, that the victim in that play wore a rose to receive her paramour. He murdered her. The lodger was blamed. Exactly. Mrs. McGinty wore a rose on the fatal night. Oh. Would it have been to receive her lodger when we have no evidence of any dalliance between them? Oh, I hardly think so. Then she wore it for someone else. Her murderer, you think? I do. Excuse me, Mr. Stringer. I'm sorry, but he still keeps turning away. What can I do? We'll have to recast him. I know. Ask the vicar if he'll be kind enough to have a try. Yes. Miss Marple, if what you say is so, then an innocent man's life may be at stake. What can be done? Well, we can begin by inquiring rather more closely into the private life of Mrs. McGinty than the police have seen fit to do. Yes, but how? By returning to the scene of the crime, as it were. Oh, very good, Vicar. Excellent, excellent. 